going on everybody chad castellanos here just want to do a quick update on the stock market um happy valentine's day by the way um so basically what we've had going here um if we look at the stock market i'm just going to go through a few charts here um this is a long-term trend of the nasdaq um if we draw some trend lines here basically you know it broke the uptrend in, in um, basically 2015, right around here. Um, we had a crash, um, and we had another crash in, in, in early 2016. Um, I basically thought that we were topping in 2015, 2016 for multiple reasons. Um, the biggest reason was the Federal Reserve, I thought, would try to gain some credibility and actually potentially raise rates for a while until it crashed until the markets crashed and then they would reverse course basically um that is sort of what happened but they literally bluffed within a month because they raised rates once in december 2015 and the market just all hell broke loose right around here in the market you know we were crashing very very fast and um, they reversed course early 2016 and basically said that they were postponing all rate hikes. And what that did was it totally lost, you know, we, the Federal Reserve lost a lot of cre credibility in my mind at that time. What, you know, it's, it's amazing that they actually have credibility still, but, you know, you just got to go with the flow. You got to go with what people are thinking because that's the masses are in control of the markets. Eventually, the fundamentals will always weigh in, but, you know, the masses control the short term. And so if they think the Federal Reserve has control over the markets, they will um, go with that. So within that, we've, you know, rallied a ton here. Um, ever since, you know, late 2016 last year, we've rallied tremendously. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's like a like a super... Um, spike since 2016 you know it's 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 a very large move but it's not like um just to give you an example gold stocks were up some of the gold stocks were up like three times last year and that's even with the large correction that happened since from august till uh early this year um gold stocks are up so much compared to the um s p and and the nasdaq and the dow but in any event, you know, the market's still going upwards. We have this huge trend line. If we go back to 2003, roughly, and, you know, draw a trend line, we're almost at resistance um, at the 5,750 5, range. Um, and if you actually draw a line from the bottom of 2009, we're kind of forming this wedge here. You know, it's not perfect, but, you know, wedges are usually bearish. Um, so it's something to make note of um now for now we're in an uptrend in my opinion but if we look at some of the indicators you know here's a dow um still in an uptrend again monthly chart of the dow we had the crash of 2008 you know this huge resurgence um these little corrections here here um big ass correction right here um, another bottom Trump got elected and you know ever since Trump got elected it's just been going bananas it's just it's actually the opposite of what I thought personally I did not think the market would rally with Trump being in office I actually thought the market would crash and it actually did crash overnight it actually went down a thousand points overnight went up a thousand points and I think we finished up so the I think we finished up the day after after the election, or at least a couple of days after, which is amazing because that's a thousand points down, a thousand points up. So that's a two thousand point move roughly in one day. Um, pretty incredible. Is that the plunge protection team? I have no idea, but it's pretty incredible move. Um, but since you know we've had this rally for uh, with Trump being elected and it's kind of euphoric. You know, everyone thinks that the market can't go down. Here's the Russell 2000. 
you know, huge, huge spike going up. Um, so here's the NYSE. Um, now, if we look at this, a stock market or a stock like R the Russell 2000, um, here's where Trump got elected. Just huge, huge move. Now, one thing that concerns me right now is not the fact that we're, you know, we could start a downtrend right now because everything's tipped up now that uh, their Fed has basically postponed raising rates to, you know, a, a decent level. They're, they're going to, they're possibly going to raise rates, but, you know, it's not like they're raising rates to the point where it's going to make any bit of a difference. Um, as far as like if it's above the if rates are above the rate of inflation that's not even close to happening and probably will never happen um that's another subject though now what concerns me about the russell 2000 is this topping pattern here um we have not um recently the the dow jones has actually make made a new high of like twenty thousand four hundred or something around there um the russell 2000 has not made a new high and this could be, you know, all these days up in a row could be an air pocket. Um, so we could lose potentially a large portion of these gains very quickly. Um, and it still would not make this um, a downtrend yet. Um, things need to be really analyzed, honestly, on a month to month basis, because there is so much uncertainty right now. You know, people people think there's so much certainty with Trump being elected. They think he's going to deregulate. The economy is going to be great. Um, at least the people that elected him think think that's going to you know that's going to happen. Um, and and this air pocket right here could bring us easily down to you know sixteen twenty on the on the R U J, the Russell two thousand. Um, the the two hundred day moving average is around fifteen ninety roughly. Um, 1584 to be exact. So, you know, we could have this huge air pocket move down in the Russell 2000 and the Dow and all the stock markets simultaneously. And here's one more look at why I think that potentially could happen. Um, if you look at the put call ratio, um, recently, basically where I draw these lines, anything below this line here, um, means that no one's expecting a drop in the market and and the insurance is um basically going more or less long on the on the upside and um usually what that ha what happens when when these ratios get below this this line here is the the stock market peaks at least temporarily and as you can see you know we hit it in july um didn't really do much you know and then we hit it Again, in December, you know, we had this correction here in in December, but uh, you usually need to hit it a few times for it to start really topping. Um, just it's just the way it works. Um, and once it hits these levels and, and coincidentally, these levels are the bottom. So if you can see these, the bottoms actually work better than the tops for these things because there's so much fear in the market that that. You know, there's just um, these fear cells are, are easy to to uh, find a bottom when they hit these lines. So if you look here, you know, you have a huge bottom here. Um, same thing over here in uh, 2016 where the market was crashing early 2016. You know, it did bounce here and it went lower again. Um, but, it, it you know, it moved back up. Now, of course, the Fed, all that. You know they postpone raising rates, but in general, these spikes of the put call ratios can predict bottoms and uh, and tops. Bottoms are easier, but tops are um, significant as well. Once they go below this line, there's just too much speculation and not enough. Um, uh, there's a lot of carelessness when these um, markets spike this far, and usually indicates that there's going to be a correction. Um, and, and if we look for a long, if we look at the long term trend of the put call ratio, um, you know, it's harder to see because they're, this is a long term chart. So the, the needles are, are spiked. But if you look here, you know, 2008 bottom, 
there's a lot of, uh, in, you know, there's a lot of spikes of these needles above this, this line here. Same here. Um, here, the, you know, big, big spikes above the lines here, 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 here. Um, almost every one of these indicated a bottom, you know, these large spikes above this line. And this, the same thing can almost be said with these spikes below the, um, below the lines as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And how I'm playing that is, um, I'm going to short the, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to short the Russell 2000 using the, um, SRTY stock trade stock market symbol and um, I'm going to put a very tight stop you know if we break above uh, anything a little bit above this 1820 level I will probably sell that position um, and it would indicate that my perception is wrong and we have to wait and short it a little more or, or let it let it exhaust a little longer but um, to me we're going to get a correction and um, you know, maybe pretty significant. And after that, we'll probably get another rally. So it'll probably fall down and then bump back up um, and maybe create a further decline later in the year. Or, um, you know, it just really needs to be gauged. Um, see what the Fed does, see what everything else does and um, take it month to month, basically. So that's it for now. I'm going to buy the SRTY for a short-term trade. I would probably sell if we got into the 1600 range or a little bit above that um, on the SRTY. And uh, that's it. And um, if you want to get any more updates, I'm going to start doing this a little more often. So um, I talk a lot about gold. I talk a lot about silver. I talk a lot about the stock market. Talk about geopolitics. I talk about um, health. I talk about, you know, sometimes about my life. I talk about sustainable living. Um, so I cover a wide range of categories, just things that I'm interested in and share and like to share with you. Um, so if you want to subscribe, just subscribe to my channel, and um, you know, we'll be putting stuff on blogs and stuff like that. So. Anyways, take care, stay nimble. Um, maybe you can make something out of this video. Take care, bye-bye.